Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We are here at a building you might recognize today. This is Expedition Overland's hangar, the XO hangar. And we also have Clay's third gen 4Runner and Clay's FJ62, which we'll get into in a little bit, but I'm gonna go inside here. And here we have it. Clay promised me it would be nice and messy in here. The fleet, the shop dog, the prospector, and there's the man himself, Clay. You ready to give me a little tour? I'm ready to give you a tour. Sweet. So we are here in the X hangar. There's Rochelle, hey. Here's the puppers. And then there's Clay. So, Clay. I think yes. Just kind of. Show us around, point out some interesting stuff, talk about the shop. Clay and I have talked about the shop a little bit. Lots. Oh, well, a little We've bit talked. since you've been here. Yeah, yeah, a little bit since I've been here. So Clay and I have been friends for a while, actually. This is probably the first time we've been seen in a video together. But Clay's kind of been, in some ways, like a mentor of mine. He's doing bigger, better, cooler stuff than I am. He's <laughs> more well-connected. He has more, more cars, a cooler shop. So Dude, I dads and bits. Kinda, <laughs> I lean on Clay for some like advice and I just bounce ideas off of him once in a while. And so he's talked to me a lot about the X hangar, mm -hmm. the reason for its existence, how it's helped uh, Expedition Overland as a whole. So I kind of know a lot of insider stuff already, but it's very fascinating to me, the building, the structure, the business, the model, everything. And I hope you guys are interested in it because I'm gonna kind of have Clay talk about that sure. stuff a little bit in like the Cliff Notes version of it. And then we'll get into some cool stuff, the rigs and, and that, I think. Sounds good. So that's gonna yeah. be this video. So I hope you enjoy it. So the X Hanger, you guys built this how long ago? 2016 is when we built it. Um, it, was a, it was a plunge, you know, every now and then you gotta got to push your chips in and go all in. So I was actually uh, built this hangar in the attempt to, let's say, save the business because uh, we were um, working out of the house, building all the sponsorship decks, building trucks in the garage. We had multiple people working at our kitchen table for several years. And it was just getting to the point where we were like, we got to do something different. We need a space. We need, we're busting at the seams. And if we're going to survive, we need to be able to have this, I don't know, headquarters to do our jobs well. So that's when the X hangar was born. Yeah, um, you were looking for a dedicated space that could just yeah. do everything. Exactly. And so we, I had put a lot of thought into it for years. I, I, had drawn things and built stuff and then we went full on into designing this one and uh, it came to fruition pretty quick. Uh, I had a very good friend, Travis Swanson, who was the builder uh, that came in and said, what do you want? He's a good friend of mine through Search and Rescue and uh, we napkined it out over at the, on the porch and- uh, You've been dreaming it up for years though, I hear. Years, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I already had a general idea and I had, you know, Pinterest boards and all kinds of stuff of everything of what I wanted a shop to look like and how it needed to serve. Plus we'd been working in garages. We had rented a shop space for a little while. My dad's had a shop. Uh, and then a bunch of us other guys have had shops or worked in shops. So we kind of had a collective idea of how we would, what it needs to have. And then we went to it, we designed it, built it. And uh, we probably finished it in six months, seven months, total build time. It was really well done, really well executed, which was nice that it, you know, got kicked off that way. Mm -hmm. And then we've been, we wanted to have a, a party to like initiate the, the building and all that, but f we didn't do it till the film fest this year, four years later. Like mm -hmm. we just hit the ground running, just cranking. So yeah. And it's, I mean, it's a great space. We'll walk you through a little bit and touch on some features here and there. And Clay warned me that it is packed full of goods. It is as packed. As you can see, we got motorcycles, motors, 
We got some tracks for the general over yep. there. Shelly's new bike here. She just got this. She's getting into that. Nice. Uh, a couple of the yeah. rigs, a few other rigs outside, a few other. There's two other rigs. rigs in transit. Yeah, one's in the shop. One's coming from Canada right now, so. Yeah, and you guys probably know Expedition Overland's a major operation, but it, it's a major operation. It There's is. A lot of, lot of pieces going on, yep. and it's, it's awesome that you have a space. Yep. So, I don't know. Why don't you walk us through real quick a couple sure. of the vehicles? Well. This one I'm extremely jealous of. This, this one's a pride and joy. This one was, this is Samson. It's our 2016 Land Cruiser 200 series, and uh, this was built for the South America series season uh season three of the pan american mm -hmm. and uh yeah they said that land cruiser would never you'd never get a land cruiser toyota would never put anything behind it and then they gave us this one and then here it is and here it right? is so if someone ha! says you can't do something don't believe them it is possible you just got to dream to 200 yep. level dreams yeah, yeah. You get there. so th this one samson is was my truck in south america and is still one of my favorite trucks a lot of people ask me if i was to have to hop in one and go around the world which one would it be it'd be the 200 series land cruiser yeah <clears throat> rochelle actually seconds that oh, yeah, yeah. 100 shelly loves her 200s as well <laughs> <laughs> awesome yep. so Sam, we're not going to go too deep but if you yep. want more of this truck obviously Expedition yeah. Overland has plenty of it. Yep. And if you work the way down the sure. line, we got the Next is the Gladiator. Uh, yeah, this is our 2020 Gladiator, Odin. Uh, this was built, uh, the first one with a, one of two that had uh, the peak wear system out of uh, South uh, Australia. Well, Gold Coast with uh, Patriot Campers. So the peak wear on the back, and we built this to be our search and rescue slash production truck. I'm gonna turn the radio off right now as we speak. Yeah. So Clay uh, is a member of his local search and rescue. So he's actually, in addition to using these rigs for personal enjoyment and production and making beautiful videos, you're actually using it for yeah. search and rescue. This, this truck's been on four or five calls in the last month or so, yeah. and it was just on a film shoot on Friday up in the mountains. You think you'll ever work the general into search and rescue stuff? Is Absolutely. For that type of? For sure. Yeah, yeah the general ha serves a, a big purpose there. I think a four-door serves the best purpose, but yeah, we'll uh, the two-door works pretty great, too. I'll move out and join your crew. Sounds good. Well, so this is, yeah. uh, we could talk all day about most of these rigs and the details in them, but that is not for this video. Yeah, there's a lot going on uh, in each Clay, one of these. Clay has videos that are walking through a lot of these. Yeah. So you can check them out. And then we'll probably yeah. do a couple walkthroughs, but we'll talk about, I think, the Forerunner and the Land Cruiser outside because cool. those are interesting. Well, you want to talk about quick, the, yep. the, the yeah. big boy? We'll talk, work our way over here. This is our 2018 AEV Prospector, and it also has a Patriot Camper P-Core flatbed on the back. There's a Ram 3500 chassis, and then uh, the four-wheel camper... Hawk flatbed model on top of it. It has quick stats, um, roughly 60 gallons of diesel on board, 50 gallons of water. I can go at least a solid month or longer on, um, without being restocked if I wanted to in this vehicle with two people. Um, between the, this and the trailer, uh, I could easily go for longer and we can do three weeks with a family of five without a restock out of this comfortably like you could do more nice. but it's very comfortable ah, like three weeks is that's a journey yeah and then that's our general two-door the general 1000 xp codename curiosity after the mars lander you know, or rover and uh it's the whole idea you get to a place and drop your explore little explore vehicle and go see a bunch of stuff and then be able to come right back to base camp. And that's how we've used it. Nice. It's awesome. Yeah, he put a, he put a little video of this on the channel as well. It looks yep. like it may have changed a couple things, but it looks Not too much. how it was. Yeah. Yeah. Upgraded the tire and wheel just a little bit. Uh, radios and communications, we've got a heater in it now. It's got a chainsaw holder on the top, spare fuel, water, an alley box in the back for all the survival gear, camping gear, rifle mount above that few lights, 
and man, it, it'll just go. Very this, cool. We're having so much fun with this. And then it, it, we use it here at the, at the hangar now as our plow vehicle. We've got a plow over here and it's got all the setups to and then, maintain the property as well. Mentioned earlier, we have the tracks. Looking forward to, I'm, I'm trying to snag a set of tracks as well. So Yeah, I'm excited to get this. So I'll get your opinions on them. Yeah, I can't wait to get these going. It just, what a wild year. It started off like it was going to snow a bunch, and then it just hasn't. Like yeah. there, there's no snow in Montana. Where yeah, Colorado's been lacking in the snow department as well. So maybe next month we'll get to get these out. Go so in addition fun. to all the all the cool rigs and stuff, we got all kinds of camera gear and cranes and cool yep. stuff floating around. We got some paramotors over here. Yep. And then why don't you just kind of continue walking us around the shop? Sure. What we so, got going on elsewhere? This is typically this area. When we pull the table and this is our like main logistics planning area, we can get the whole team around it and uh, plan our expeditions, pull stuff up on the big screen, get some maps going. Most of all of this stuff is passed. This was all of our schedule, our post-production schedule um, from last year. Uh, yeah, so then camera stuff over there, drone stuff all in here. Got our wings for the paramotors, et cetera, here. And then, uh, yeah, glass door, so when summer, we can come in and out. 62 series out front. Mm -hmm. And uh, downstairs was built with uh, 5,600 degree Kelvin LED lighting, non-strobing, so while you're filming in here, you don't get flickering looks nice. and dimming. Uh, and then it matches the best we could in the LED lights, the daylight that comes in, so you don't have a real bad color shift from outside light coming into the building. And then all of the light is completely controllable. We can dim it and make it look the way we want. Uh, and then, yeah, so it's very uh, more blue down here, techy. And then as we go upstairs, we made that a lot warmer and more creative because that's where the offices are, that's where all the editing happens and the creative space. So as you, physically walk upstairs, we designed it to help mentally shift your head towards the creative side versus all the shop stuff and the filming and the tech and all that. So very cool. We'll show you upstairs. Yeah. So this is if you're ever wondering how crazy and hectic things get around here. This is uh this is all old, so don't get too excited like I'm giving you any spoilers, but yeah. All right. We've got some stairs over yeah. here. Yeah. Just come on up. I was asking Clay if he ever installed that bathroom he was talking about. Not yet. If He'll have to take was... that up with Gallatin County. <laughs> yeah, permitting bathrooms in in garages is a yeah. big hassle. It's such here. a pain in the butt. So uh, this is the main edit bay. And here, this is where all the sound mastering, all the voiceovers is done. Uh, everything is connected to a server under the floor here in a in a closet and uh, so we can cut all our 4k stuff and handle all the heavy data loads it's the best monitor all the lights in here are designed not to be sharp so you can sit in here and not get eye fatigue mm -hmm. and uh, yeah dimmable and you can set the the lighting in here so you can stay in here forever and this is not where all the magic happens with the narration that's, that's where it is it's where the magic happens. Yeah, big I views of the Bridgers. The yeah. The Bridger range. This year we're celebrating 10 years. This is a cool poster. This is our prototype um, signage poster that we did for 10 years of Expedition Overland. Just all the accomplishments along the way. That was awesome. It's one of the one of our few attempts to, you know, recognize the milestones because you go 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 go. And it's good to stop and celebrate. So we're stopping, celebrating ten years. Mm -hmm. From up here, you have a nice view of everything going on down below. Yep. I built this so I could run down this way and yell at guys over here like, "Hey, what's going on?" And talk to Tanners and Jeffs and whoever when they're building trucks. Talk to them, and then I can talk to anybody down at the table like Shelley. And then if we have parties, we have a you know, place to, to be up here when we did our film fest. People sat here and watched movies. Yeah, it was just aesthetically cool. Um, 
the catwalk. On the catwalk, and then gives us an opportunity to film things from this angle yeah. with, as well. So, yeah, Ooh, good little sweet. perch. Sweet in here, guys. <clears throat> this is the main office. What's he say? Uh, I was just saying, there's the caffeine studio. Oh, there. yeah. Uh, just two more edit bays. Uh, when we're in full swing, we're usually running three or four editors to cut our series. And uh, then we, this room we have, is 5.1 surround sound as well. And it is our best home theater uh, room to check everything. So we'll all come in here and we'll sit and we watch everything that we cut before it goes on the internet here with subwoofers and all the different speakers so that we can catch anything bad. Because not only does it go to, to YouTube where a lot of people watch it on a phone, it also goes to like Amazon Prime where people are watching it on home theater. So we make sure everything is leveled and good at this stage before it ever goes online. What Clay's so. trying to tell you is his content is created best consumed through an appropriate device yeah system. 4k everything's leveled yeah it's it's really built for big stuff mm -hmm. but half of it's consumed on phones so it's true we got the third gen forerunner out there 62 down below yep then we have one more little office over yeah there. this is supposed to be my office but i got kicked out of it they <laughs> don't really get to too much in here. Yeah. Yep. Couple Just more workstations. Yeah, being able to look at the mountains, get good light. Yeah, it's nice. Crank in here. It this is cool. It's the uh, the work side behind the scenes of what it takes to run XO, put content out. Yeah, it's impressive stuff you're doing here. And well, thank you. Both the building and the whole, all the processes involved in in making this stuff happen. I appreciate it. Always a joy to see. Yeah, it takes a lot. It's fun. It takes a village. Then. It takes a village. It takes an army sometimes. When we're up and running full swing, we will be sometimes working with around 20 to 25 people in a season. Ooh. And then between sponsors and people that we're coordinating with, sometimes uh, probably as many as 100 people in a year that we're working with actively. Well, dedicated space makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. We couldn't things. do it at the table anymore. <laughs> we were done. So, yeah. Yeah, so Clay and I were talking a lot about how the operation has grown through the years where a lot of it was just at the kitchen table, dining room, the old personal garage. Uh, and it grown into this. So they took a big plunge and it has been well worth it. Yeah, I've never looked back. It was risky, but we never... Never look back. I wouldn't look back either if I got to enjoy all of this space, I think. Well, Clay. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. For the little shop tour. Heck yeah. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, thanks for watching. If you've watched our stuff, I appreciate it so much. And if you haven't checked out Expedition Overland, run over to our YouTube channel or on Amazon Prime and look it up. And uh, it's about adventure and trucks and traveling and uh, if you like that stuff, you'll probably like our show. So yeah, come check it out. Awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for your time, Clay. And I think we're going to film a couple of walk-arounds Let's now. do it. So those will probably be on the channel shortly. And until next time, guys, take care. Ciao.